hello guys welcome back to the channel today we are solving another lead code problem that is 621 task scheduler before jumping into the solution i would highly recommend you should read the problem statement on your own and give at least 15 to 30 minutes to this problem so let's get right into it what problem is asking that you are given certain task and you have to do these tasks in certain not certain the least number of unit of time in the least number of unit of time but the catch is when you do a certain task you have to wait an unit of time before you can do that task again so that is the constraint that we have to follow so how are we gonna approach this first is first question arises which task to take which task which task to take i will say the most frequent one the most frequent one you will ask why i will say let me explain so we need to use as much as less time to execute all the task that is for sure so what we gonna do is we will use the most frequent one for example the most frequent task is a we will try to do this task first why because they will have the most cooldown in between they will have the most cooldown in between so that's why we will enter least frequent task in between them or less frequent task in compared to a in between them so that as a result as a whole process we minimize the time as much as possible that much is clear because we have to wait this time we have to wait this much so what would be the best is do something in between get the frequency not the frequency the efficiency of our cpu better we have to use this time interval in between so most frequent tasks will be used that much is very clear and another thing is how we gonna get how we gonna get these get these frequent task frequent tasks first is we use hash map hash map to count dear frequency this much is clear and another thing is priority queue priority queue you will ask why priority queue i will tell let me explain a bit more about this when a happens how much time after a again happens for example take this example only this test case this test case a is 3 a is 3 b is 3 and n is 2 for example a happened 0 1 2 and 3 we wait two unit of time in between and then it again happened so what is the size of this block what is the size of this block isn't it n plus 1 isn't it n plus 1 yeah it is so again we go back to this priority queue why priority queue because we need n plus 1 task n plus one most frequent task to fill this block why already discussed to get the most out of that interval isn't it that much should be clear it is a very common sense i would suggest if it is not clear use pen and paper so that's why priority queue and also another thing is why we use priority queue or what is the intuition because when we need certain k amount of item and the most frequent one what is the best way what is the most easy way except sorting that we can do while running or on the go without having much stress in our brain it's priority queue that's why we are using priority queue to get the most frequent n plus one elements not elements task so that much is clear that what we are doing which task we are taking most frequent one why 
because they will have the most cooldown and to get the most frequency we will fill in between those cooldowns and which task other task we should take is the less frequent one than the frequent one that we took why because these also will have the cooldown so that's why in order to manage everything in between we are taking the n plus one why n plus one you see saw yourself that a block will be made and the block size will, will be n plus one you can take any example by yourself it will always be a n plus one block so the whole questions boil down to this you have to fill these n plus one blocks in the less time but is it always be n plus one no why because when it is the last task we don't require n plus one to full fully filled we may require these two only so what we will do is we we would have main or oh, we would have made a some container or vector to get those k task wo not k n plus one task so n plus one task it doesn't mean that it will have n plus task it can have less because at the end in the last it doesn't mean that we will have full n plus one it can have less what we will do is we will see the size of that vector at that time and the last what was the size of vector because at that time every task will be executed and no cooldown will be required because there is no other task to be executed because they are the last one they are the last so what we will do is it will be that size that if we say it that as a temp so temp dot size it will be that in the last task it will be that and you will get it when i dry run this over the test case i hope this much is clear i discussed everything i suppose uh, i discussed hash map i discussed priority queue and i also discussed the block now the algo part remains what is the algo very basic i could have done the coding part let's finish with it fast make hash map hash map of type care comment for obvious reason if it is still not obvious watch my playlist again priority queue priority queue will be filled be filled with these entries why because in order to get the most frequent n plus one task <sighs> it it doesn't mean that priority queue will always contain n plus one it can contain less and that's when this happened when it is on the last block so you will understand what i'm saying in the code and when i will try run it and what we will do is we will add time add time what we will do is if priority queue is not empty priority queue is not empty then what we will do is n plus one because as you can see if priority queue gets empty then it was the last task it was the last task if it is was if it was the last task we will take temp i forgot in between take this as a step four step three is i write over here temp let's declare a vector we will declare a vector temp and fill these with n plus one task why n plus one already discussed and it doesn't mean it will always contain n plus one i all already give pointer to that so after that after that just return it so let's take the test case and understand it more to solidify all the intuition that i made and i would recommend you should dry run other test case that are written in the problem statement because if i dry run those it will take time and 
the longer the video the less people will watch it so that's why <clears throat> my main motive is to give the intuition to make the dots you have to make your end of work to make it align so let's get into it we calculated the frequency we put it in the priority queue and you can see for yourself we are taking n plus one do we have n plus one no in priority queue we have only two when we fill the temp temp will have a and b only a and b only so let's get into it <coughs> first block happened n plus one a happened b happened do we have any other no sadly idle n plus one happened and what else happened a is now two b is now two if they are greater than zero push it back why push it back because there are other tasks and some other will become most frequent it's very common other will become most frequent in it doesn't mean that every time in n plus one block a and b will appear some other will appear so that's why we'll again push it inside the priority queue priority queue again these two things not these two things basically this these two cases will again happen basically what i'm saying is again a b r pushed a has two b has two again temp is formed temp again contain a and b this time again now uh, this block forms now a is one b is one priority queue again contains a b one one temp will will form a and b but this time see this is three this is also three this time carefully see priority queue is empty isn't it because this time a is zero b is zero nothing will be pushed back when this was happened it was again pushed back before ca calculation of the time these things are pushed back you will see in the code everything i cannot discuss one at a time <laughs> so you will see this while cal before calculating this time we check as discussed in the algo part we check if it is so this time this will not be pushed back because zero doesn't make any sense priority queue is empty priority queue is empty now what happens when we are calculating time in temp what we are having is zero zero a is zero b is zero but what is the size of temp two in the last time which task were there these tasks will be executed no matter what because they don't require the cool time why because we are inserting in that cool time only so at that time what is the size of temp it is two and how much did we took is eight that i hope that much is clear it will more solidify when i walk you through the code basic map filling that map filling the priority you taking a time t0 the answer that where we are submit uh, adding it so taking out of the priority queue that this is happening we make a vector filling that vector as zero t0 
till n because we need n plus one task it's a basic loop set that's why we have to go to n in less than n n you will run less than n basic loop not gonna discuss what again happens over here is as discussed we have the most frequent task we will subtract them and push it again simultaneously to the priority queue we will do it till we traversed all the task that we took out of that priority queue the n plus one task and while this loops end while not while before adding it to the time we check if priority queue was empty if it is empty it means that it is the last one everything will be executed because we are filling in between we don't require n plus one isn't it it will automatically handle itself for example if you are saying we have a b c in temp while we are filling temp you can see temp is int type as you can see in temp we are minusing minus not minusing minus 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 so it will have zero if we have task a b c it will have zero three task so still we get three if it doesn't have three task it had these two tasks we will add two so it will take care of everything if it's still not clear rewatch it what can i say and if it is not the last task you have to do n plus one if it is a last task i am again repeating if it is a last task you have to not you have to all the task will be executed as when i dry run it a and b will be executed no ideal will be required because that is not required because it is the last task and nothing will happen after this so i hope it is clear and after all that hustle you will return it what you will return time and let's submit it yeah it is running i hope i was able to make my intuition clear and if if i was and if i was able to add something to your problem solving so consider subscribing to my channel and liking and sharing this video to your friends so you have to do what you have to do so keep grinding keep grinding see you in the next one you guys are awesome bye bye